and welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. And in this video, I'm going to talk about reviewing with four pieces of advice on reviewing. And you may have seen my earlier video on this. This is going to go into a bit more detail than that one. First piece of advice, don't describe the plot. I see a lot of reviewers doing this, and it's rare when I see a description of the plot and that interests me in the anime or manga or whatever. Just recapping those sequences of plot rarely really gets anyone interested in your work. You rarely need to even name the characters. Now you will want to describe the basic premise of the work, whether it's sci-fi or fantasy, whether it's a ragtag group of bounty hunters, things like that. But you'll usually only need a sentence or two. Okay, number two, please don't talk about yourself. The more you use the word I, the more you talk about your own personal preferences, the less that's going to translate to the reader. Um, the more subjective your review, in other words, the less likely that your reader or viewer is going to connect with that because it's going to be your own personal subjective view on things rather than describing the work itself. So instead of uh, talking about yourself, talk about the work. Describe what's happening in the work. So instead of saying, I like X, Y, or Z, describe what it is that you like about it. If you don't like something, what is it about it that you don't like? What's rubbing you the wrong way? Or what is rubbing you the wrong way? And if you can't articulate that, then that's a good sign that you need to think a little deeper and you need to figure out what it is about those things that are triggering your personal interest or disinterest. Number three is kind of related to number two. And it has to do with certain weasel words that I call value words. These are positive and negative adjectives like awesome, awful, terrible, um, amazing, good, bad, great, etc. These words are usually code words for I love or I hate. When you look at how they're used in reviews, um, they rarely describe anything more than the reviewer's personal preference. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with having a personal preference, but as I mentioned earlier, the more you put that into a review, the more you're just describing your own personal taste as opposed to the work itself. So whenever you see yourself using those words, describe what it is that you think is awful or awesome or whatever instead of using those words. Finally, describe all the elements of the work. It surprises me how often someone will review an anime and never mention the animation. It is animated after all. What's the quality of the animation? What is it like? Is it naturalistic? Is it stylized? Uh, what's the color scheme like? Um, and that can say some interesting things about the anime itself. Um, um, how fast paced it is it or how slow paced is it? And that has to do with the story as well as the actual editing of the shots. Um, how is music used? How are sound effects used? Um, uh, how is the voice acting used for certain characters? Does a character have an unexpectedly deep voice? Or are they um, uh, more slow speaking than you might expect? Um, you can talk about the story and how the story unfolds, although, although of course a lot of people talk about that. Um, but there are all these different elements to the work. You know, seek out these various elements and try to uh, describe them in the work. And especially if you have some particular insight or some particular passion for one of those elements, absolutely, go for it. Now, obviously, that's not the be-all and end-all of reviewing, but those are four things that I have found to be helpful for me in my reviews, and I hope it's helpful for you. Thanks for watching.